Okay, the last layer we're gonna add on top of our eye, we're going to be using these Pentel markers because they are water-based. So you're gonna get a pack of markers and we're gonna stick to the same kind of colors that we've been using. And then we're gonna go over this with water to kind of soften and blend the markers. So first thing I'm gonna do is work on the iris. Um, we've got, I added some greens and some blues and I did lines that are radiating out from the pupil. So I'm gonna start with a light green and I'm just going to do a layer Think about hatching lines. If you want it to get lighter, maybe around that highlight, you could do the broken lines or the dashes, kind of in some areas if you wanted to add some variety. You could also add some broken lines or dashes. It's the same thing when it's just a fancy way of saying it. Maybe around that highlight, do broken lines. Okay, now I'm gonna go back with a darker green and wherever I want it to be darker, I'm gonna add some more hatching lines or more lines. So the eyelid typically will cast a shadow and make it darker on the top of the iris. Oh gosh, my lines aren't really going in the correct direction. And then kind of every once in a while, add some of this. Even if you're doing brown eyes, you can start with light brown, add some layers of dark brown. And then around the iris, even if you have brown eyes, the outside rim is typically darker. So I'm gonna start adding some blues and I'm gonna go around the outside edge of the iris, kind of darken it up a bit especially under here. Then I can also add another layer of blue where I want it to be darker. So remember with watercolor, you're working in layers. You're also using the white of the paper to be white and we're building up color. Now I'm gonna go in with my darker blue I want it to be darker where there's a shadow up there. And now the lash line. So this line here is your lash line. This should always be dark, even if you're not doing eyelashes. So if you're not doing eyelashes, you just kind of thicken this line and then it gets thinner as it goes to the tear duct. If you want to do the lashes, they start to kind of curve out from that thick line. And then it's up to you how, you know, how many lashes you wanna do. You can do them kind of sparingly, you can do them really heavy and thick. I'm gonna do the same thing, kind of going over this. Maybe do the lighter blue, Let's switch. I don't want it to be too heavy and dark. Just kind of curve some lashes out every once in a while. Keep going over this line. All right, now your eyelid line is a crease. So you should kind of go over that line that you have there. Okay, now we're going to use water to kind of soften and blur what we just added. So if you go over that marker, it's gonna turn it into watercolor. Maybe I wanna pull that green out. So we're doing wet on dry. Kind of go underneath that edge to soften it. I can leave those eyelashes as lines or if I wanna fade them, kind of soften them a little bit, I can go over them with the watercolor. Same thing on this top edge. Now, if I start putting water in the white of the eye, that, that color, that dark color is gonna start to bleed in. So I have to be really careful there. Now, if you do get watercolor in an area you don't want it, you have your paper towel and you lift. But once that's, whoops, once that's dry, it's pretty permanent. 
Okay, I kind of want to soften this eyelid crease. And then, whoops, kind of fade this out so it's not just a harsh edge there. Now I can experiment going into the iris. Remember, you kind of want to lead into the pupil. You want to leave your highlights. want that edge to be darker and then you know if I'm not happy with this I can always go back on top with another layer like I don't really like how it's just super dark up there but I don't have the dark down there so I can add you know more darks kind of doing a little bit of scumbling almost if you want to go back and define some edges Make them less less soft. You can add that on there. Oh, 